Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. When you're bored and you need to be not bored. Royal Goose! When you're bored and need something not to be bored. Royal Goose! Their names are Elliot and James. Copyright infringement! They love Teen to play Titans. the video games. Like motherfucking Crash I Bandicoot. Is, uh, Teen Titans. Royal Goose, go! Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Nothing. I'm not gonna get a cop. It's a no, no, no. Song. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm teasing. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> that show is fucking lame. Got the, him. Wait, the original? No, no, no. Go. Oh, no, no, no. That's the theme song to the original Team Titans. Oh, that's how I recognized it then. Yeah, dude. Okay, I assumed it was the same for both. No, no, no. Teen Titans Go is way shorter. It's like. You missed it. Titans. Well, anyways, all of it's pretty lame. <laughs> you didn't like the original Teen Titans show? I mean, I did when I was like fucking ten years old. I actually, I never watched it very much as a kid. I saw it like maybe once or fuck you, frill is it? Do I saw you like it. Teen Titans Go? I uh, some episodes I do. Some... So you say overall you like it? Yeah. Do you like My Little Pony? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised by your answer to the first question. Okay, what? Got him. Excuse me? My Little Pony is way better than Teen Titans Go. No, no, no I, I understand. That you have, <laughs> I'm sure. But they're both like intended for younger kids. For, as their main audience. And you fucking care. Oh, I know you don't care. I'm, I'm not fucking ragging on you for watching this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give no, dude, I, uh, car I, I love cartoons in case yeah. it's not obvious. Dude, I watch, um... I watch a children's show, like, for, for kids, made for kids, uh... What's that? Gumball? The Amazing World of Gumball? Yes, I fucking love that show! Yeah, dude. I'm... And that's not made for adults at all, that's like a kid show. That, that's, that's when, um, that's what I love about, like, Disney and Pixar, and just... The best cartoons are the ones that, you know, their target demographic is kids, but they also... They don't talk down to kids. They, they, they oh, make like, sure... Oh, hi. This is... Mad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know, you know what I mean? Though? It's, it's, well, like, to, to explain it differently, the, the ones that are written for adults and kids, like... Not Dora. Like, I remember somebody, yeah, not Dora, that, that's just for kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, I remember reading somewhere that, like, the original Looney Tunes cartoons were said to be written for adults. Like, they, they tried to write them for adults, even oh. though they knew lots of kids would be watching them, because they didn't want to just exclude the adults from watching it so interesting despite the target audience so, i you like know. looney tunes yeah dude looney tunes is the shit Everybody that's what it. they fucking need although people now are complaining that they're like too violent and things like that it's like it's fucking cartoon violence yeah we live in a fucking world where people are scared of like fucking cartoon violence it's 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 sad it's always been a tricky thing because it's like there was even a simpsons episode where they discussed that problem like the fact that kids have the whole monkey see, monkey do thing where it's like, I'll do this, I'll go home and do this. That's why a lot of cartoon characters will say, don't try this at home, kids. You know, right. that's the whole purpose behind that phrase. Mm -hmm. it's, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's that's a whole other subject, but yeah, no. No, it's just fucking annoying, man. It's like, I don't know. I just, Fuck. I'm kids, not... kids raised today, like, holy shit, that's a topic I could get into. Yeah. You want you want to get into it a little bit? Yeah, sure, dude. Okay. We kind of grew up, like, uh, I feel like we, we were maybe the last generation that had, like, some amount of freedom growing up. Like, today, it's illegal to, like, let your kid basically play outside unsupervised, even if it's, like, what? in the front yard. Yeah, and some, like, okay, in Florida, oh some God. lady got, uh, I think arrested because she let her kid, who was like, not super young either, like maybe fourth grade or fifth grade, uh -huh. walk to a park four blocks away from his house during the day and go play by himself at the park four blocks away. Yeah, so, well, what? Yes, no, yes, kids nowadays have to always be supervised and they like aren't allowed to do fucking shit on their own at all. That's like, stupid. Oh, I know, it's ridiculous. We live in like a fucking weird time my dude you, you know what it is i think because we live in a time where i, th I think the internet has a big part oh, fuck smooth <laughs> <laughs> moves boy smooth moves things so I, I think because of the internet because we have way more knowledge of what happens in the world we have way more knowledge of the bad things that happen so be well that just happened um because people are so aware of the bad things that could happen to their kids yeah 
people, they try to be like, we need to set up more laws and rules to make sure it doesn't happen as much, even though setting up those laws and rules often will not make a difference. Yes. They, they try to control, people try to control things that they cannot control. It's emotional control. lawmaking rather than statistical-based lawmaking. Yeah, and... Uh, Which is what I have a problem with. Yeah, dude, I, I know. Like, feel-good le- legislation, I think that's what people like to call it. Where they just do it to make people feel... Feel safe and good. Even though it won't make a huge difference. Yeah, exactly. And it just makes things a pain in the ass. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It would be like, we're banning... We're banning, um, like, Kinder Eggs, right? They're banned in the U.S. What's a Kinder Egg? A Kinder Egg is, like, this little chocolate egg with, like, a toy inside. Oh, and yeah? You eat the chocolate egg, and then you get the toy out of it. Oh, I think I know this. Damn it! They have them in, like, Canada still. But, yeah, they're banned the in the Canada. U.S. Because maybe, like, one kid choked on one or something because he's a fucking idiot-ass kid, and his parents shouldn't have given it to him because... Their kid's a fucking dumbass. I mean, that's just a thing called natural selection. Exactly. As, as, as awful as... I mean, no, I, for real, man. I it's mean, like, I feel bad for the parents and the kid, obviously, but I mean... Uh, the kid was probably too young to be playing with it, so that's more on the parents. Or he was too stupid to yeah, realize. Yeah, or he's a fucking dummy. Like, or know your no kid, idea. man. It's okay if your kid's a fucking idiot. I mean, look at me, man. But, <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Well, two and a half D platformers. Death perception. What's that? <laughs> um... Yeah, no, dude. I, Why do you spin those? Spin the... Oh, you mean the... Those crates? Eh, because... Eh, I'm impatient. Too lazy to get the wampas. Because you have to just sit and wait for five seconds for uh, you to okay. bounce on them. I was just curious. Eh, just test your patience. Whatever. I'm... Whoa. Oh. Fire! Oh. Jesus. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> um... Uh, how far are we in? Oh, six and a half minutes? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you had something else to say, but... Uh, Dude, I feel like kids need to like kids need to grow up in an environment where they can get hurt. It's or else how are they gonna fucking know like oh I shouldn't jump off the fucking swing and like fucking six feet up when I'm a fucking five year old. I mean you have to you have to screw up to learn. Exactly. If that's you don't, what I'm saying. If you don't fuck up, you're not gonna learn. But a lot sure. of people fail. A lot of people are so protective of their kids that they fail yeah. to grasp that concept. Yeah. I mean like that's that's kind of the lesson of Finding Nemo. You know that? Is it? Nemo's dad was like super paranoid and overprotective of his son because his wife and kids were right. eaten. Yeah. So because of that anxiety, oh, yeah. it's like, remember the bit where Dory's like, like they're in the whale and Marlin's like, I promise I never let anything happen to him. And Dory's like, what the? <gasps> He's like, what the? And Dory's like, huh, that's a funny thing to promise. I mean, you can't let nothing happen to him. Then nothing would ever happen to him. It's like, ooh. Yep. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty much summarizing what you just said. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, it's it's in, impersanting. Yeah, there's a lot that's out of our control, unfortunately. Fuck me. Unlike this, I do have control over this, but I just... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Totally uh... good. But fucking A, man. Fucking A, man. Fucking A, man. Alright. I'm gonna do this. Alright, nine lives? Not bad. Hell yeah, skater. We get a boy. All right. Okay. Did you see Finding Dory? Speaking of. No. Oh, I wonder what you think of that. Mm, I don't know. I thought it was good. Not not as good as the first one, but it was good. Yeah. It was very uh. It had a lot of social commentary, well, as much as an animated film can get. Uh, about uh, how people with disabilities are treated by those who don't have disabilities. Mm. There are definitely some bits here and there where it shows that how impatient people can be, even with the best intentions. Yeah. You know? Interesting. Yeah, no, it's... I found that relatable, because I can be quite impatient myself. So looking at the... Ah, dang it, really? Nah. The cortex joking. I'm the most patient motherfucker in the world. <laughs> are you? No. Yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> I'm also not super impatient, though, either. No, okay. Yep. Ah, damn it. Like... That's actually one of my pet peeves, impatient motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're in a line at, like, fucking, let's say, Subway, for example, and the motherfucker in front of you is like, What's taking so long? Like, those fucking bastards. I think people tend to get really impatient when they're waiting for food, though. Holy shit, they do. But, but it's, like, still inappropriate. I mean, I, I think it's just a primal thing, because, like, when you your body when your body needs food, it's like, Need food! You know how, like, when people get their food, they just have a big smile on their face and like, <gasps> Sure. I mean, I get fucking hangry, but I don't treat people like fucking shit when I go to, like, a restaurant. Yeah, no, I, I try not to as well. Yeah. I remember one time when I was a shitty little kid. Well, not little. I was, like, ten or something. 
I was at this burger bar okay. at an arcade, and I ordered a burger and fries, and I had to wait like 10 minutes or so, and I was like, Hey, where's the, where's my burger at, huh? You said that to the waiter? Well, well, no, I was waiting at the bar. Yeah, yeah, I, said, I was like, hey, where, when's it coming out, or where is it? Looking back, I would have been like, like, don't stay there, you little shit. Be patient. You know how many fucking kids in the world don't get food regularly like that? Regularly like this, you freaking privileged little son of a 